So what's up guys, this is going to be a analysis of this matchup from me playing Miguel versus this Oscar player. We're going to detail how to analyze a matchup, how to see more so what the opponent is doing, like how they're, uh, the decisions they're making and what they're trying to do. I think that's, uh, this is going to be from like more of a Miguel perspective. So, uh, let's get started. Just to let you warn you, there's a lot of shit talk. There's a lot of things that are said that I don't uh me now uh you know in retrospect from looking back at this video right um but yeah there's just a lot of shit talk that happens you know sometimes i'm a passionate player so you know it is what it is but let's get started so i'm enough to do a combo kyle kazama man i hate pigs face the awesome Bro, I'm not even gonna lie, I don't like this Asuka. It's never a good thing, usually. It always produces salt if you lose to her, you know? It's just a mucky match, kind of like facing Akuma or Eliza. It's just a mucky match, you know? Win or lose, it's just like, you don't feel good winning or losing, you know? Not so much Asuka, more so Akuma, Eliza, and... and Xiaoyu, I would say. All right, let's do it. Round oh, really? Fight. I'll take that. I think, like I always say in my streams, first matches doesn't really prove anything we just get a feel for each other obviously i'm free to do my savage mix-ups honestly uh in the beginning of the match because they don't yet know how i play so it's really just a it's like a free space you know if you're playing like a board game or something it's just uh, here we go you can do whatever you want there oh god Oh shit. Oh shit, she got me. I block low. Round four. Fight. Oh my god, what am I getting hit by this stuff? Oh my god. So annoying. Oh my god. All right. I'll take it, man. Jeez Louise. They really just do them. What are they called? Pan can? They really just do that shit. Out of desperation. Uh, double kick, hop kick, all right? Let me see where it's at. Yeah, right here. In terms of in desperate situations, she's very apt or quick to do a, a launcher here, right? And stuff like this. So that's something you're gonna see later on in the stream, but that's something I should have taken note of earlier on, in my opinion. Let's continue. Do some Savage Threes too. Fight. Oh God. I don't know how I'm gonna get hit by this, I swear I don't. One thing I've noticed when doing long sets is that Miguel has really good movement. And I don't even realize it sometimes, but if you just have decent backdashing, decent uh, sidestepping Korean backdashing skills, and you can really move better than the opponent oftentimes. Cause he has very long steps, you know? Oh, that's not punchable, man. 
Something I should recognize earlier as well in terms of like she definitely likes to uh, play risky and sure. do unsafe things, you know. And that's kind of what the type of player I am, so you know, I can fight in that. That she cancels that too fast. Every single time in desperate situation. That was a good decision on her part. Uh, may have been intentional knowing I was going low or, but more likely, uh, it's just her unwillingness to deal with pressure. Oh, also, I thought I was one too. Oh my God, all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, man. All right. Good shit. Okay. It's all good, man. You know what we do, bro. We. I don't want to be like, what's this thing? Glade shading. Call myself zookeeper, you know? Well, you know what we do, man. We can contain, we can contain the situation. We've gathered enough data, you know? I actually think at this point, I haven't gathered enough data. You really gotta be like Dr. Jero when it comes to this, you know? Fuck. Why'd I do that? Oh my God. I need to stop respecting her. I think that's a good uh, train of thought because she, she's, see how many times she's attacking and having a, when's the last time I attacked just now? I wish I'm not I'm um, her way too much. being willing to attack, being apprehensive, you know? So right now I think I'm about to go on a losing streak because and it can be boiled down to the fact that I'm respecting her too much and she's not respecting me at all. Oh my god. And once you don't respect someone, then you do risky things. Um, and you play with more confidence. That's what's happening with her right now. And that's why she did her back, back uh, three. Oh my god. See what I mean? I didn't forget that time. Oh man. Even actually when I'm unsure of how to defend and I try to use more movement. So I can already tell I'm scared to attack. I'm spacing, spacing, go up to her, not attacking. I'm just scared to start an offense and this is not conducive to winning. Good, not bad. Fuck, why am I running today, dumb shit? Oh man. It's really bad to see the lack of uh, grab pairing, you know? Lack of breaking grabs. Nah, I gotta continue my offense, man. Exactly. It's a really good way to tell if, if this Asuka is having her way with you, if she's able to do that down punch that or that uh downwards plus on block punch if you're able to do that multiple times then that means that you're not attacking enough you know KO. Final round. Fight. Oh my god! 
frame trap is a high on block, which means it's probably not that negative if you block it. So it's a good opportunity to do a launch. Uh. Damn. Okay. But yeah, so we just talked about all the ways why I'm losing. And you can even see from my body language that thankfully I'm not somebody who gets disturbed that easily. Especially in between matches, I usually try and be calm and try to say, okay, and then kind of analyze what happened, you know, what went wrong. There's always a reason why somebody wins or loses, you know? I would've been real heated if she didn't rematch. So pretty much this is a shit player, but I'm just getting tilted and I'm not playing my game pretty much. Ugh. But the thing is, I need to stop doing extraneous moves like Savage down for two. And uh, I should stop taking uh, so much more risk since she's a king of keep out. So all she has to do is back three. You know what I mean? So yeah, this isn't a shit player. This is a good player. You know, playing a good player. And uh, obviously I'm not experienced with Asuka. And I kind of feel like Asuka is good against Miguel because she's keep out and Miguel lacks good ranged pokes. So it's a frustrating match for sure. But make no mistake, this actually is a good player. I think I just kind of say that psychologically to hype myself up saying this guy isn't that good. I can beat him, you know? So I think that's what's going on there. If I want to, if I was going to psychoanalyze myself or can can. So I just need to play conservative, that's it. <laughs> and she's looking for that too, for sure. See, I need, I need to stop doing that. And she has no, she's getting in without, with impunity. Think that's the, this is going to be the key to changing up the matchup. Right now she's up 2-0. And the fact that she's able to get in well, without being scared, I need to change that. And so me just doing literally a random hop kick and it worked, will show you kind of, of an adjustment I made to essentially keep her out, you know? Give too much respect. That's all I gotta do. She can get in whenever she wants. And she's looking for that too. But then I'm worried about the, the counter. Okay. Top kick again. Every time. Every time. Oh my. That whip, I thought it was going to hit her at least. Fucking ridiculous. Two, I need to press two. So you see, that was a stolen win. Uh, didn't grab parry. And that's the stuff that typically will get me more tilted. But as you can see, my game plan was working, obviously. It's just that uh, once this is the type of player to where once it's like a desperate situation or it's un it's ambiguous, then she'll go for like a a launching move, you know? A launching move with a lot of evasive properties to it. So that's what happened. I was just too overzealous and then I got back three. Round three. You cannot make mistakes. Another mistake which will cost you. One mistake. And that again cost me another round. So that's two solo rounds. Just from doing my down back or grounded down three right here in it whiffing because it actually doesn't have a good extended hitbox this move. Um, so that happens a lot. And there's a lot of uh, cooldown time right here. So she has time to get a knockdown while while standing straight. One mistake. So that's that's two stolen rounds. One mistake. But as you can see from the first round on this match, I've already turned around the, the match psychologically. I already turned, turned it around in terms of, I have a game plan that can beat her now, you know? So you shouldn't think too too much of the errant mistakes you make, which cost rounds. But as you can see, 
uh, it's literally a, a one mistake difference to to whether we win or losing. You know. Four. Two solo rounds, by the way. Oh my god. And the third was mistake was getting launched when she did her back three into into um, by the way that back three into launch right there that's what cost me to match that time so I'm, i don't know what i'm going to say right now but just for me looking at the match that was a completely winnable match so i just all i have to do is stick to the game plan but just clean up my uh gameplay clean up my defense and um and be more kind of conservative with where I choose to use moves and don't be so overzealous and I'll win the next match. But now it's three matches in a row. I'm literally giving her these wins. I think I'm gonna turn around after this match. There was nothing to be ashamed of for that. For that I'm match. literally giving this person these wins. That was two stolen rounds, you know what I Oh hell no, that's three wins in a row. Yeah, but I shouldn't look at it as three wins in a row. We know what happened with the last match. Don't look at this the raw number of wins. Look at what led to those wins, you know? Round if I whiff once it's done. She has so much BS. Now you can see I'm going in with more offense. Uh, definitely not playing as cowardly. Way too comfortable. Way too comfortable. There we go. You know, sometimes you lose to shit players like this. Nope. Sometimes you lose to shit players like this, you know? They have they teach you how to adjust fight to bad Tekken players, you know? She's definitely not a shit player. Definitely a great player. It's just in the heat of the moment type of deal, you know? Bro, you're not getting in no more. <laughs> and you can see from here, her overabundance in terms of using the launches, launches, you know? She definitely wants to launch so, like, very badly. So if I just play smart and keep my distance, then I can turn this match around. Good shit. Oh my god, I need to watch for that. Even still, don't get perturbed. Don't get... It's fine. Oh god. You know, whenever you lose from stuff like that, then it's fine. You know? Get worried if you're losing by being outplayed in the game of Tekken. Whenever you lose to technicalities, to setups like that, then don't worry about that. That's kind of my mindset. See, I'm able to win just Round by doing mix-ups, just by playing tactic, you know? Back up. But don't let her get in so much. Oh, fuck. Come on, punch that shit. That's all you gotta do. It's not hard. Okay. Nope, you desperate. Now I'm gonna go low on your ass. Nope. Trash. This is a player who really relies on, on a lot of launches, you know, to get out of sticky situations. So if you just play more safe, play more coordinated, then you can win the match. Every every player has their flaw, you know? You just recognize it as quickly as possible, you know? Round one. Fight. Fuck out of here. Okay, I'll take that. Fuck out of here, dog. How did that kick whip? Did you see that? Did you see that? Now, if I go frame by frame, then you'll see that it barely whiffed, but it's kind of close. Kind of close. 
See that? In terms of it's almost touching her face. And it's, it's definitely touching her right hand. And yet the kick didn't hit. See that? And so sometimes stuff like that happens. You just have to take it on chain and move on. I made the right decision. How did that kick whip? Did you see that? Did you see that? Good shit. I fucked up. And here's a problem that I'm going to have this match. Where I had the match under my control, I won the first match pretty handily. But now that emotionally and mentally took me out of the game, which allows her to win this match and it's going to allow her to win the next round. How did that kick whip? Because I'm still thinking about that whiff down kick, that whiff mid kick. Round. So I have to move on and just focus on the next round. That's a lesson I should uh, definitely take to heart. Fight. And so now I'm not even doing my game plan. Dry, As you bro. can see, she's getting in. And have to do whatever she wants. I completely abandoned my game plan because I'm still angry off that with the kick. And that allows her to have an easy win. I'm still tilted from the that kick weapon. Alright, let's go. Ooh, she's mad comfortable. the willingness to get in, see that? Fuck. KO. Round four. Fight. Wow, first broken grab. Congratulations. I'm just trying not to do anything stupid because I know a launch is coming. That's high too. And there you go. Why do I get getting caught by this new shit? Oh my and god. And then the reset. And so again, a major force, a major opposing force is uh, her getting a launch. Really, if you prevent this person from getting launches, you can, then you'll beat him pretty easily. She fumbled the ball. Fight. It's coming again. It's coming again. Watch. See, there you go. What am I doing? It's super predictable, but it's a shame I'm not seeing what's going on. You know. Again, there you go. Another launch. Another launch. You see what I'm saying? Did you see how many freaking launches she did? Such a trash player. All right. <laughs> we gotta keep rematching. We got to. Wouldn't say trash, just a, just a tendency, you know? So now I've evened it up. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm up you one. See, she did like a million launches in five seconds. You see that? Actually, no. Um, it's even right now. It's 3-3 three, three right now. And she, that was, she should have had that match just because of BS. She should have had that match. Oh, well. Round one. Fight. No, bro. KO. Round two. Fight. And you need to punish that one of these days. Fuck. Yeah. Don't underestimate Miguel's level three reach on his legs. Fight. Good shit. That's high too. We got another 
Perry baby. Wow. Oh, that fuck low, bro. Round four. Fight. <laughs> You see, I'm, I backed off because I was expecting that to come. That's why I backed off. Oh my god. Dude, play with my food. That's what I'm doing. Nope. She don't respect me. Alright, so I now have evened it out. It's 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Actually, no. I won one more game. Get ready for the yeah, right? Battle. What he said. So I'm up one. If she yeah, won, I won yeah. one, she won three, I won three. So I'm up one. Yeah, okay. Maybe. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Fuck, I thought you were going low for sure. I need to stop doing that. I'm fucking up. Ha ha ha. Hey. <laughs> it, um. I thought I was going to hit him, but. You know, natural. Good change. Good, good buff. She's getting way too in. Good shit. Yeah, I did. I almost fumbled it. Round three. Fight. Every time, every time. You're not just gonna run from my face like that. And you see, that's a very effective counter strategy for her gameplay. It's to essentially do a hop kick at the wrong time, yeah. But really, is there a such thing as a wrong time? Fuck, you got me. It's just situational. In this case, it's the right time. Round four. Fight. And I'll take that damage. Just down, down forward, I'll take that. You know, we can play a slow game, it's fine. You see how spacing, chippiness, space, space, just preventing her from getting an easy launch, you know? And now I've got, I've got her down at this point. My game plan is solid. Uh, but you can't account for that. <laughs> Let's go! And there you go. That's how I managed to overcome this Oscar player. But, you know, very, very emotional guy right here. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Fuck that player. And if you found this video helpful or any video in the past that I've made, then consider joining me on Patreon. Any of the three tiers will allow you to continue receiving video match reviews from me. And there's other perks as well, like voting polls, early access to YouTube videos, and video scripts that I'll send to you via a Google document. And yeah, check it out if you're interested. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys later.